what is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review today we're going to take a look at vincent vega 2.0 ponytail version from pulp fiction uh brought to you by star ace and you can pre-order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com just click the link down below four dollars shipping this is a big item I got the accessory pack and you can do a pile of loot if you want to or you can go to starace.com.hk so you can check out their website they got some awesome pieces right there some vinyl statues and other franchises that you you wouldn't see anywhere else so definitely do check them out all right so for those who doesn't know i'm a huge fan of pulp fiction love the movie i'm a big movie fan uh mostly you see me reviews you know like the big companies you know different ones the, the mainstream ones but i got some love for you know figures like this a, a classic movie you know pulp fiction i think this is what like 1995 so it came out what like 25 years ago um still love it up to this point the opening scene the music once you hear it it's 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 iconic so when star ace announced last year i believe that they were doing pulp fiction i was excited you know got the two versions uh vincent vega now they announced this with the accessory pack gotta get them man gotta get them so i want to thank star ace for that too uh but this one right here is 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 different one you got the uh the jacket underneath here you got the uh uh this briefcase which is different because from the previous version he got the hand attached to it some cigarettes there some accessories that you really wouldn't see anywhere else anywhere else you know because most of the figures you you won't get this even the hand gestures that he comes with are different as well so now the accessory set which i'm really excited about because i am a sucker for anything that's diorama piece it really does help out on the display not only that for my photography and and this accessory pack is pretty generic and what i mean by that is that you could use this in different figures this is not exclusive to vincent vegas you can see the stereo right here um and it's a couch it's a leather couch it's not like one of those accessory packs that would only fit a certain character and then you can't use it anywhere else i mean it's a couch so if you have other figures you could definitely use this and it's nice material as well as far as the accessories that it comes with uh it has different types of hands as you can see here one hand is about to uh, strike a uh, lighter cigarette hand those are his dancing hands uh you got an ashtray here with assortment of cigarettes one is not lit um one is almost done and one is like you just lit it up it's a beautiful I, I love the fact that they gave that to us um some a pack of cigarettes here drum it has a hole in it so you can actually put one inside uh so you can pretend that he's kind of like tapping it and one is coming out uh a lighter which actually does open up i was attempting it here but it's it's really hard to do it when you're you know there's a, a tripod by your chest a syringe really nice detail i don't know if the camera is going <laughs> to capture this because it's it's tiny and it's uh you know pretty transparent but it it does operate too like it goes up and down so that's that's pretty awesome attention to detail once again by star ace kudos to them and uh the biggest piece as you can see here is the uh, briefcase which again if you're into gangster type you know like of one six collectible you could use this so all the accessories that you see in here are you know interchangeable to other figures as well that's the beauty of it, it you're not constricted into just particular character you know i i love gangster type movies and you know i can certainly use this put money inside even though I don't, we, we don't really know what's inside of that briefcase, to be quite honest with you. They never told us, even after all these years. Or maybe I just didn't Google it. Maybe I should. And again, a typical Star Ace fashion, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of, it, it's funny because the, the last time they gave us a totally separate outfit with sandals on it, now they gave us separate feet. They didn't have to do this, but, you know, it's Star Ace, man. And a book, nicely detailed, and it, it's kind of hefty as well and the oval base stand with this beautiful jacket that is nice fabric and it feels like a real jacket too as you can see the the reflection right there it looks like waterproof and such and this is the accessory pack so you have an option not to get this i highly suggest you do because like i said you could use this in different different ways 
This stereo right here, lots of details. But as good as the stereo is, and it's a lot of details, you can see there's buttons, even the backside, there's air ducts in it. So, you know, the air would flow outside, even the top one, they could have left it blank, but you know, attention to detail. Looks like wood, it's made out of plastic. But for me, the highlight is the couch, man. Couch, it's, it's, it's leather. It is magnetized, so all the pieces just kind of snaps in together. Uh, you can also kind of disassemble it if you want to. It comes with one six pillows. Um, I know there was one, a third party that made a couch back in the day, uh, but this is so much better because it's it, it is actual pleather. You know, like you can feel it. And as far as the figure itself, it's a guy in a suit. So I'm not going to spend too much time in here, although the suit is really nicely tailored. It's not one of those cheap ones that if you go buy it on eBay, it's oversized. Now, mind you, this is back in the 90s, so you know, form fitting is not, you know, slim fit wasn't really a thing back then. However, it's not baggy. You know, it's just the right fit. Just, you know, enough that he can move around uh, because you don't want it super tight either because it constricts the movement. I mean... I wear suits, and if it's super tight, you can't move anyway. Uh, but this one, again, it's the 90s, a different style. Uh, and also the, the necktie. I don't even know what you call that thing, but it's pretty fancy. And because it's fancy, we're going to zoom into it. Pretty iconic as well. Uh, so if you know what you call this tie, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not that fancy, man. I could have Googled it. but And he has a belt, which is pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at the portrait. Now, mind you, I did have the first Vincent Vega. And I think it's it's a big improvement. Not that it's bad, the previous one. It's still pretty good. But I think they, they really made significant improvements on this one. Uh, again, it's not 100% perfect. Uh, but it's there, as you can see. As you can tell, you know, like, they made the eyes deeper. And I'm going to make a comparison as well. Uh, I like the ponytail look. You know, his hair is kind of like just, you know, flowing on one side. And you got the earring on. Um, you got the ponytail. Yeah, I mean, John Travolta has like a wide jaw. He got like a wide face. Um, it was, it's not like he is, not like he is now. I think he gains a little bit weight now. Uh, back in 95 or whenever this movie was released, he's, you know, still in pretty good shape. Uh, the ponytail, I think it's well done. It's not, you know, construct, you know, restricting any movement unless you, you know, you make him look upwards, which I don't even think you need to do. Why would you do that first and foremost? But in certain angles you can clearly see john travolta in there like if it's like in the quarter in, there you go this look right here i think that's perfect you can clearly see him there his piercing blue eyes as well and um you know the hairline is pretty good nicely detailed uh, overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and i'm gonna show you guys the uh the previous head sculpt which i i think is still pretty good up to this point but like i said this is a different version the ponytail version so it just gives you an incentive to buy because it, they're they're different. You can, you can make an argument that you know they're both guy in suits. Uh, obviously, the first version is you know pretty iconic as well, the slick back hair. Uh, but everyone remembers that dancing man and the tie. Uh, yes, they're both iconic in their own right. So you know I, I'm glad that Star Ace tackled both looks. Uh, so at least I can display them in, in different options. I'm going to display the other one with his jacket on. And the other guy, you know, uh, the other Vincent, the, the first version, he's going to remain ha as it is. Or I could dress him up in the civilian version, you know, like after they kill the guy and they, they're in shorts and, and whatnot. I can opt for that look. So, so many display options, uh, not restricted at all. So as far as articulation, so behind... All of these suits, it's just a regular body. It's the joints are pretty stiff, so that's good. It can hold a pose. Um, you can see some ankle pivot there. The knees can bend well. And now, as you can see, I have tons of layer of clothing here. I got the suit. There's a white shirt underneath, and then there's this heavy jacket, which it's heavy because it's you know it's it can drape nicely. Nice material as well. It feels like it's one of those waterproof as well. Uh, the head tilts up and down. You know, you can move it freely. No hinder whatsoever, even the ponytail. And you can move the arms forward. 
And I, like I said, it's it's pretty stiff. It's brand new, so you know you gotta work with it a little bit. You gotta loosen it up. But if you, I mean, it's it's a normal body with a suit on. So even I, if I'm wearing a suit, but the most important part is it's double jointed on the elbows, so you can have him kind of like smoking, and his hand can kind of go close to his face. So you can do those poses. Speaking of smoking, here he is outside of, well, inside now of Mia's house. He's about to pick her up. I love it when you can make scenes like this. I mean, he's holding the uh, briefcase right now, even though it's not really movie accurate. But I just I just want to I just want to use that accessory because I think it's pretty cool. Um, again, I can I can load money in there. I got some one six figures that has tons of money in there. Yeah, it's, it's not even money that's inside, but. Maybe it's like the light bulb. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. You know, he's standing pretty nicely there. Just just chilling. Smoking inside a house. Not not being scared. Look at that. It's awesome. And that's the intercom. As you know, when it's it became a meme. And here he is. Making use of those uh, dancing hands. Those peace signs that, you know, he puts over his eyes. Uh, this is my attempt uh, to make him look like he's dancing. Uh... I kind of zoomed in a little bit. Not want to show you the feet because uh, I did a crappy uh, pose in here. I'm sure if you, you know, I just put this together real quick, I'm sure there's some better poses out, posers out there for me. Uh, but yeah, the hands are there. It's present. So if you want to do this iconic dance, uh, my son does this all the time. He's, he's, he's funny. Not by watching Pulp Fiction, though. So you don't want your three-year-old watching this movie. Uh, and here he is, you know, the accessory pack in motion. Behind Mia's house, I try not to show the actual couch because the actual couch is behind this, uh, and then I try not to show it. But pretty nice. And I told you guys, you could use this this accessories in any other figures. If you have like a gangster type of figure, you could use that. I'm not gonna tell which figure um, that you could use this for, but you just use your imagination. It's it's beautiful. I, I think it's a must have. I mean, if you're gonna spend. 200 plus on a figure anyway just just spend a little extra and get this so like i said you, you could use this on on other other ways him holding the cigarette just and holding the book he's chilling out there mia waiting for mia to come out beautiful just beautiful and this is the rest of the gang of pulp fiction there you go i love these figures man they're not gonna leave my collection anytime soon or ever um just, just so iconic and I, I like i said earlier i doubt any company would take the risk uh the same way that uh star ace is, is doing right now giving the fans at least of this movie what they have this is not your typical one sixth this is not one of those uh uh i guess uh commercialized you know a home run kind of kind of move it's pretty risky on their part but i love it you know i said it before over and over uh, I think other companies should do this. Take some risk and, and satisfy other fans because it opens the door for uh, newer collectors who might not be interested in the uh, more cliche figures, you know, out there. So, but this is the uh, head sculpt. And uh, like I said, if you're getting tired of seeing both of them, you can dress up the other Vincent Vega in shorts and t-shirt if you want to. That's an, uh, That's always an option out there. But there you go, guys. This is Vincent Vega 2.0 from Star Ace. Uh, you get tons of accessories, uh, especially if you get the accessory pack. You're going to have tons of fun with this figure. I think it's 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 a good buy. You get your money's worth. Uh, that is the meme, I think, that's going around where he's kind of like, what's going on? Um, when Mia was talking on the intercom. But yeah, I, I mean, I love the movie. I, I think it's a must-have if you are a big fan of the franchise, of the movie. Because... I don't even know if they come out with a statue of Pulp Fiction. So this is as close to as a high-end uh, collectible as you would get. And I don't know if, if Big Bad still has the combo of Jules and Vincent. They might. I know Jules was on sale for a while. I think Vincent, the, the, the 1.0, is out of stock. But do check out Star Ace website. Um, you might see it there. But thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video... If you hate it, uh, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel up. Or give it a thumbs down if you want to. Um, also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I do a lot of reviews, not only for figures, but 
everything that I love, basically electronics or any gadgets that I might run into, games, collectibles, whatever. Uh, also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.